Welcome to Viewworks VX View Quick Guide. My name is Claire Pion and I'll walk you through the registration mode on this video. So this is what you'll see first when you log into VX View. We have the scheduled, unscheduled, and reserved panels on the top. Now the three panels each indicates different patient registration type that you use, so you can choose a panel type depending on how you register your patient information or demographics. You can set which panel to show first at the setting mode. So let's first look into the scheduled panel. This is for those who use MWL or Modality Worklist. Naturally, you would first need to connect a worklist to VXView to use this panel. Uh, you can do this by designating the date of your interest, and I guess the most commonly used date would be today. Of course, you can specify certain dates by manually pinning in the date here, or by clicking on the year, day, and month. Uh, activating Auto Refresh enables you to update the worklist automatically for a set interval. You can customize the interval at the setting mode. You would also have situation in which you want to search for a specific patient and you can do this by searching the patient ID, name, or session number here. Double click on the patient to go to the exposure mode. I'll skip this part for now because there will be a separate video on this. So this is it for the scheduled panel. Let's move on to the unscheduled panel. Now, unscheduled panel is, is for those who don't use the work list or have a patient coming in unexpectedly. In this mode, you would have to manually fill in the patient information here. Now, the green color indicates information that are required and of course, you can change this in the setting mode. Uh, you can select how to manage the patient ID in setting. There are a few managing options which are clear, remember, increase, and auto-generate. It's currently set as auto-generate in this video, which means a random ID is automatically generated as you can see from here. Uh, you can learn more about the options from our service manual. Let's fill in the remaining required information. I'll type DOE as the last name and a session number. And you can also set the procedure by clicking this button. If you hit Start Study, it brings us to the exposure mode where you can take the X-ray images. Now to the Reserve Panel. Now, Reserve Panel helps you to manage your reserved patients. You can import patient information to Reserve Panel from both the Scheduled and Unscheduled panels. From Scheduled, all you need to do is click on the patient you wish to export and hit the Reserve button. Same thing goes for unscheduled, fill in the necessary information and hit the add to reserve button. You'll see the patient information being listed under reserved. You can edit the patient information simply by clicking the edit button here. Now you may have an emergency where you don't have the time to fill in all these information and in that case just hit the emergency button and it'll take you directly through exposure mode. Uh, we have the emergency button here under the reserve panel, here on the unscheduled panel, and here on the scheduled panel. You can fill in the patient information for later in the exposure mode. So this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.